Hello, hello, my loves. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to your Spiritual Sunday reading for the collective. I hope everybody is doing well. Welcome to October. I love October. I'm pretty excited about this month. Um, it's one of my favorite months. I actually really like this time of year, October, November, and December. I really do. I know lots of people don't because of the weather, um, but I also like the snow. So uh, as always, I'm just going to start here by co connecting to your uh, to the collective energy. So let me go ahead here and tap in. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please collect, can collect, please connect me to the energy of the collective that chose, not chose, the spiritual collective in general spirit. I'm asking that you come forth here with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for the collective. I also ask that you protect the collective in the week ahead, you support them, and you help them make decisions with grace and clarity. We wanted to thank you for watching over us, for keeping us safe, and for teaching us those valuable lessons that we need to learn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So interesting that I said collect. Um, some of you here could be collecting um, old debts. There could be money coming up here for the collective. You guys could be um, finally seeing movement in terms of finances for those of you who have been waiting for such a thing. Tell me more, please, Spirit. Tell me more. We have grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. I love that. So there's definitely a lot of uh, very positive energy this week, specifically for those of you who are able to maintain that attitude of gratitude. It's funny here. I feel like I was tapping into this energy um, last week. I don't remember though, but I do feel like this card came up before. Some of you here are planning a trip as well. There could be talks of like finally finalizing a trip or getting some sort of a trip here in, um, in order. Uh, this could even be somewhere like Japan, um, or I'm getting a lot of Asia energy right now. So some of you could be from Asia, but there's energy here around exploring new cultures. I feel you guys, the best, the best and most important thing to do this week is to tap into clarity, tap into grace and tap into uh, kindness, kindness towards yourself here as well. Lots of discoveries this week on the spiritual realm as well. It could be something that comes up now in October that also comes up in May. I'm getting like some sort of like repeating pattern here. Okay. We have Mystic Healer. Healing energy flows through you. Beautiful. I love it. So some of you are really stepping into your full potential here as healers. You're stepping into being more aligned. Um, again, some of you could really be taking control here of your healing this week which I love. Um, and obviously, you know, I really do feel like vibe attracts tribe. So I do feel like be, most of you here probably do have some sort of abilities or are empaths or just really looking forward to helping, you know, the world feel more safe and secure. So I really want to say here that this is an excellent week for healing. It's an excellent week for um, grace. And it's an excellent week here to, you know, book an acupuncture session, book a Reiki session, um, you know, read a book you've always been wanting to read about, you know, physicality and healing. It's definitely a good time to focus on those things. Beautiful energy here. Lots of you are really going to do a lot of major shadow work in, um, in winter as well. Some of you could already be doing this. It's interesting because they're also showing me the body. Okay. So somebody here or the collective could be a lot more focused on health. Um, and there could be like a desire here to change something about the physicality of the body here. It's really beautiful energy. Oh my gosh, we have great adventure. Take a risk, venture forward. I mean, what could be better than that, right? There's just a lot of energy of movement here. Like I was saying earlier, someone here is definitely planning a trip. I'm getting curiosity about the world around you. Um, this could show up in lots of different ways, right? Like maybe you guys are watching documentaries. You're, you're finally reading that book you always wanted to read. There's a lot of energy here with clarity, with feeling happy and secure and exploring, exploring yourself and exploring um, the world around you. So I like this. This feels very good to me. It feels curious. It feels adventurous. These are all qualities that I personally really, really like and embody myself. I think I try to, I try to anyways. Look at me gassing myself up. Um, but yeah, anyways, what I was going to say too is like, this is a good time to make any sort of um, changes to your physicality, okay? If you guys have been thinking about that. We have Owl. Why seeing wise action? Beautiful. So um, it's interesting. I've had a lot of Owl energy actually come up in the last few readings for you guys, I think. But lots of you are really, really opening up here to expansion. 
Some of you could be communicating here with birds. There could be lots of energy here with, um, you know, just really taking a different perspective, trying to see things from a different perspective. I really like this energy. Again, it seems like wisdom is really a thing that's in major demand this week. Don't be afraid here to tap into, um, you know, learning or studying or, you know, researching something that is of interest to you. Pay close attention here to your dreams as well. Some of you could be very, very astute in terms of what you're dreaming. We have graveyard, unnecessary fear. There we have it again, right? I feel like, especially on a collective scale, so much of the energy has always been consistently fear-based. Do you know what I mean? I really feel like this week you're being asked to challenge any sort of uh, fears that come up here. You know, we're also entering a very, very sacred time. October is a beautiful, uh, very intense seasonal change. It's the time too when, you know, the veil between our world and spirit world is thinner. So some of you could already be really feeling the, the spooky season vibes. You know, you could be really connecting to your ancestors or starting to really tap into psychic energy this month. This is a very, very powerful month for that, um, especially with this combination, right? Be gentle with yourself if you do notice yourself receiving downloads. Maybe you weren't used to it. Um, that's that's okay. It's okay for you to be um, curious and it's okay for you to go forward and really try to see what you'd like to create for yourself. Don't get caught up in fear cycles here, okay? We have the veil of the future. So there's definitely energy here with um, you stepping into, you know, opening up to the future, opening up to clarity, opening up to... Um, trying to sort of see what's going to unfold for you going forward. I don't want you to be scared of that, okay? I don't. I want you to really be ready to take the blindfold off and ready to sort of step into more awareness and more alignment with yourself and with spirit as well. There are some things as well that are being hidden from the collective I'm hearing, okay? You guys could be um, not receiving the downloads necessarily that you want. Maybe you're receiving like some other, you know, downloads. And I find that's one of the most frustrating things for me. Sometimes when I want a straight answer, I just can't get it. But that's also because things are being orchestrated here behind the scenes. This is going to be an intense week though, I think for many of you for emotions. Okay. So I really want you to make sure you're balancing out your emotions as best as you can. Um, this is really going to help as well with you being able to ground and to see things more clearly. Tell me about the collective energy this week. Yeah, look at this. We have helpless and hopeless. I'm going to put this in the middle here, okay, with that unnecessary, unnecessary fear. So this is interesting too. I even like this card in the, the, um, the picture here because it does show two different paths available. So I really would like you guys to work with, you know, questioning. Do I want to live in fear this week or do I want to take a lot more action to charge forward here? Which one feels more resonant with me? Some of you could be really making a major choice here or you could be in this process here of defining your life in a different direction. This will take place between now and August of 2023. So if you are in this kind of shifting parameter, be gentle with yourself. I just heard um, Inca's. So some of you could be really traveling here and exploring different cultures, like the Mayan culture. There's a lot of um, very, very strong connections to past energies here that are coming up as well. Someone's name here starts with an M as well. Um, I also feel like there's going to be somebody here who's watching who will end up taking some sort of a volunteer gig or any sort of volunteer work or, you know, charity work this week would be really good for you to just expand your energy outwards. Some of you have been too focused internally. Tell me about the energy for the week ahead. We have win or lose in reverse. Okay. So yeah, you guys are kind of pulling back here from having some sort of a discussion with people around you. You could have been very frustrated with others. Um, I feel like there's somebody around your area or around you right now who's very combative. And, you know, this person could really want to argue with you. They could want to have um, some sort of, you know, they want to win at all costs. It's this kind of mentality here. I want you to really uh, release this person, okay? Because I feel like they are causing you a lot of stress. This could be an air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is someone who's definitely being mean, first of all. And secondly, I feel like they're acting out of a lot of fear. 
you know, and this I don't think is healthy either. So I would like you to be very careful about this energy because I think this person is very, very um, angry about something here and they could be taking a lot of that anger out on you. And again, this is not a week to get involved in petty bullshit arguments with people around you, right? Like if you find that your uh, opinions are not being respected, it's a good idea to just pull away energetically instead of continuing to try to prove your point. I feel like people are going to be very, very stubborn, right? Like, yeah, we have some planets moving forward, but we're a few weeks away from eclipse season, right? So we're in a really good little chunk of time here to, to push forward. But trying to get your point across to someone who's not open to it, it's just not going to work. Yeah, look at this. We have confront. Oof. Okay, collective. I do feel here like you're dealing with some combative energies this week, okay? Now, it's interesting because this is like literally a shadow. So you could also be confronting your shadow side. You guys could be um, really working a lot with shadow energy. This is a hard work, right? Um, it's hard work. And it's important to remember that too. It's not going to just fix itself overnight. It's going to be something that will require dedication, patience, and effort. So don't be afraid to put that effort in. Don't be afraid to really tap into, you know, okay, I'm going to do this work um, for once and for all. And again, October is a really good month to do that kind of spiritual work. It really is. It's one of the best months, I think, of the year. Tell me more, please. What crystal should the collective work with this week in order to help guard them? We have Malachite. It's time to transform. I love Malachite. You know, such a beautiful crystal here. It's so helpful um, for clearing. So... Time for transform. Transformation is on the horizon here. It really is. There's a lot that's shifting around you, but also you're shifting internally. So there's this beautiful dance here of you getting ready to step into more alignment um, and spirit also getting ready to take you further than you've ever gotten before if you are ready for it. So I really want you to work this week with any resistance that comes up. I personally really like Malachite. I find it a pretty gentle stone um, and I just like the energy of it. So it's a good stone for you to work with this week in terms of feeling like you're connecting and feeling like you are ready to lean into the change. We have Lapis Lazuli make a decision. Yeah, you guys, some of you have been holding on too tightly to this person from the past. There's definitely an energy of needing to release, okay? So don't be afraid of that this week. Don't be afraid to let go. Don't be afraid to uh, shift. Some of you here are going through major like a heart, throat, like your heart up is really being indicated here. So some of you are really, you know, going through a major transformation or shift of the upper chakras. I would also guard yourself this week for um, issues around the throat, okay? Because I do feel issues around the throat chakra this week. Um, so, you know, wear a scarf if it's cold. Don't try to push your, your health this week specifically um, because I feel, you know, there could be some sort of soreness within the throat for some of you here. But yeah, make a decision. What is it that you've been holding off on? You know, what is it that you're scared to, to, to take? What action is it that you're scared to take? Oh, we have adventure and create your own luck. I love, okay, I like these stones. These are really good stones for this week. Um, I like adventuring a lot. It's a very gentle stone to work with. I find when I wear it, it's also really impactful. So adventuring for me is always a card here of fun and adventure. And that's, didn't we have, we had a card here of like the great adventure. So many of you guys are in this like adventurous type of mood. You're planning things out. You're looking forward to the future. There's excitement. There's um, a desire to explore. There's just fun here. There really is. So this feels really, really good to me, you know, and I think that you're really going to see a lot of um, joy happen this week. I really do. Again, a lot of heart chakra energy, though. So, you know, uh, ground your energy, go outside if you want to or if you can um, take baths here as well. There's a lot of different ways that you can clear your energy. Um, and again, don't get involved in petty arguments from people around you. Can I get one more card, please? We have judgment. Ooh, there's two here. We have Judgment and the Ten of Cups. Okay. Some of you are really breaking free of fa family patterns or patterns from your past that have really held you back. There could be issues here surrounding like your actual family or just what you hold dear to yourself. Where are you finding your happiness from? This is a bit of an emotional week. I do feel that. But I think that there's a lot of benefit to leaning in to the emotions instead of just immediately shutting them off. Some of you this week might find that you are able to connect here with a therapist. Um, 
uh, or a counselor or healer. Someone like that would be very beneficial, especially if you've been on the fence about that. I also feel in the news, we might hear some sort of scandal or lie come out specifically regarding a family. I don't know why my mind immediately went to the royal family, but of course this could be any variety here of families. There's some sort of judgment call that is coming. <coughs> and it's interesting, I could hear my throat <laughs> start to close up the minute I talked about that. So it's going to be an interesting week. You know, I think that there's a lot of potential to lean in to this week. Um, and I would suggest that instead of pushing away from it, even if it feels a little bit uncomfortable. Expansiveness is definitely possible. Watch for fear of the future. Try to ground your energy and work with these stones specifically in order to tap into that movement and that transformation energy that is so prevalent with fall, you know, as the seasons really change. But yeah, very, very uh, interesting week. I think this is going to be fairly dynamic for most of us. I hope that you guys are having a good day and I will talk to you later. Sending you a big hug. Bye-bye.